ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled, Planet X Induced Volcanic Eruptions or Like an Earth, CME. Now, Planet X system stellar cores are entering the Earth's atmosphere just like they enter the Sun's atmosphere or corona and thus have a gravitational effect upon the Earth's atmosphere and surface, which is in the form of a gravitational wave or a gravitational vortex. They therefore cause the surface of the Earth to expand and contract and thus to break up. If the stellar core is small and over the ocean, it can create a physical water vortex or water spout. But even if there is no liquid which would then give rise to a vortex, the object's gravitational influence still causes a density wave to affect the ground and thus cause it to expand and contract and therefore break. And here is illustrated what occurs to the surface of the ocean as the stellar core approaches. So as the massive solid object approaches the Earth over its ocean, the gravitational wave which forms you can see here it's in the form of a bulge as a result of the interaction between the two objects on the surface of the earth that is the earth acts on the ocean and the stellar core acts on the ocean so it gives rise to a wave pattern on the surface of the ocean when the object approaches the earth so that the distance so as it gets closer and closer this the tidal wave that forms, the gravitational wave that forms, um, which has uh, the form of a tidal bulge, increases in size, increases in magnitude, but the area affected decreases in size. But as the object approaches closer and closer, then that tidal bulge gets higher and higher until when the object is close enough so that the distance between it and the surface of the Earth is the same as the height of the bulge, then what we get is a gravitational vortex which forms and connects the two objects. And you may look at Article 403 entitled Earth Losing Atmosphere due to Planet X related gravitational diffraction. And here I illustrate what happens if the object does not move over the ocean. So there's no water to form that tidal bulge and therefore the gravitational vortex connection. It can, it, its gravitational wave still affects the ground below the stellar core and causes a region of high density, a region of low density. And these will form rings on the surface of the Earth. And as the object moves, these regions, uh, the wave pattern, pattern moves across the surface of the earth and it causes the ground to expand and contract and that causes it to break and fissure and for more details you may look at article 37 uh, 364 entitled planet x causing the earth's surface to break now this means that if a stellar core passes over a volcano, then we can expect the magma inside the volcano to expand and contract and thus likely to be pushed upwards, which may then lead to an eruption. However, in a recent eruption of the Popo volcano in Mexico, which erupted on December 16, 2018, it became obvious that there was an object hovering over the volcano doing its own eruption and that can be seen here you can see lava that seems to be exploding from the volcano but at the same time lava seems to be exploding from a point above the volcano over here sideways that way upwards and sideways how did exploding lava get to that point in the sky if we look at the volcano during the day you can see that there's nothing higher than the volcano so there's no land there for lava to be exploding from. So the only thing that could be there was one of the Planet X system stellar cores hovering over the volcano. It was here. Now, where would the lava on the stellar core above the volcano have come from? It most likely got there at the beginning of the eruption. But since both the volcano and the stellar core are seen erupting at the same time, this suggests 
that they are both reacting to the same effect. Lava comes from deep within the earth and it is very hot and therefore contains a lot of photon energy. And it is likely that the earth responds to the presence of a stellar core which is made of low energy matter as they are energy depleted objects by sending high energy matter in the form of magma in the direction of such an object if there is a clear path for that high energy matter to travel along, i.e. a volcano, as a volcano provides a connection between the magma within the earth and the surface. And here are some images showing the that particular eruption. You can see the volcano here, you could just see a little bit of lava there. And then the eruption starts, lava seems to start becoming, and then there's this huge explosion which may seem to be lava at first, but we can see when it's no longer that bright, there isn't that much lava there. Um, and if this was lava, it should be flowing in huge floods down the flanks of the volcano, but nothing like that is seen. So this seems to be mainly an explosion, a light explosion. It suddenly became extremely bright. So it's almost like a solar flare occurred here. And then you can see that some of the lava uh, is up there. So it most likely attached to a stellar core that was hovering over the volcano. And that may have been the cause for the eruption in the first place. And you can see now the as the lava continues to explode out of the volcano, it starts to flow down the flanks of the volcano. And lava continues to uh, seemingly move along, or it starts to move along the sides there and up there. And there's more of it there, and it's spreading in that direction, that direction. It seems to actually be erupting as well from the stellar core. But the, the lava on the volcano now is moving downwards. Um, across uh, the sides of the volcano, down the sides of the volcano, whilst this lava here is moving upwards, most likely along the sides of the stellar core. And so they are both reacting to something. They're not reacting to each other. If they were reacting to each other, then it's likely that the stellar core's uh, lava would erupt downwards and the volcano's lava would erupt upwards towards each other. So they are basically, the lava is being forced out of the volcano upwards and lava is being forced upwards and sideways. Obviously cannot just go up because the stellar core is probably the, the stellar core body itself is in the way of that. So it's forced upwards along the sides of it. And as this lava continues to flow to flow downwards along the sides of the volcano, lava seems to continue to explode upwards and away from the volcano and so from this away from the surface of the earth, away from the center of the earth. And it continues. There it is. It's still happening here in this image as this lava flows more and more lava flows down the sides of the volcano. So it seems that more lava continues to issue from the volcano. And so it looks almost like they both reacting that the stellar core and the lava from the volcano are reacting to another most either to another most likely largest stellar core in the vicinity, or they are reacting uh, to uh, something that's happening within the Earth itself. It is possible that the Earth's electric field became destabilized in the area from deep within the Earth. It is as if the Earth is creating a CME or a coronal mass ejection well, that's what we would call it on the sun. It's a type of CME, but on the earth. And magma is now repulsed away from the earth's core so that it 
issues out of the volcano and is repelled away from the center of the earth and hence flows upwards along the surface of the stellar core. So what we seem to be having is both lava exploding away from the entrance of the volcano out of it because it's being forced up by the earth's core and the electric field over this region, probably deep inside the earth, became destabilized, which caused this ejection of, of lava, of magma, upwards. And the stellar core may be uh, affected by the same destabilized electric field. So even the lava that got to the stellar core is reacting in the same way, is being pushed upwards away from the center of the Earth. So in conclusion, stellar cores are obviously coming into the Earth's atmosphere and are provoking volcanoes to erupt. The eruption could be due to the stellar core's gravitational wave, which would cause magma inside a volcano to expand and contract and thus become more prone to eruption. But in observing an actual eruption, it, it looks more like an energy flux. Uh, or a flow of matter high in photon energy flowing toward an object made of matter which is low in photon energy and therefore a lot like a CME or a coronal mass ejection on the sun. The initial eruption even seems to give rise to a light explosion somewhat like the solar flare seen on the sun. It seems that both the magma inside the volcano and the magma that has become attached to the stellar core continue for the duration of the eruption to be repelled away from the center of the earth, suggesting that the earth is like a star on the inside, behaving a lot like the sun was observed to behave when approached by stellar cores, which resulted in it having solar flares and CME events, during which large amounts of solar plasma exploded away from the sun. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.